Hi guys, welcome to Linux Car YouTube channel. My name is Ramisha and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to configure AWS SNS services. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is SNS services and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you guys. Please look at that. This is my SNS service setup environment. So the first question coming in our mind is what is SNS? SNS means simple notification service. Amazon simple notification service is a fully managed messaging services used for both A to A that means application to application and application to person communication. It provides message delivery for from publisher to subscriber normally known as producer and consumers. So uh, the point is why we use SNS services Basically, we use it for notify resource situations. It is a push based mechanism where we push the notification where there any kind of event happen. For example, let's say I have my EC2 instances and it stops suddenly or use too much CPU utilization. So that kind of event uh, will notify by an alert and deliver their SNS services, deliver through the SNS services. So. Uh, same with the other uh, resources like uh, we can configure SNS as per our requirement like any object uploaded or removed from my S3 bucket I got not notification from SNS, SNS services so there are a few terms which is very important in order to understand how SNS work so the first point is topic so this is a topic what is the meaning of topic topic means there are a named group of events or access points like every topic identifying a specified subject or content or event type second point is subscriber this is very important subscriber they are clients like application end users servers or other devices that want to receive the notification second and last point is the publisher so publisher means these are used to send messages to topic sns match the topic with the list of subscribers interested in the topic and deliver the message to each and every one of them so this is how aws sns service works so guys let's begin the lab session so I go to back my AWS web console so this is my AWS web console portal and what I'm going to do I just want SNS notification whenever file is uploaded or deleted or perform any other tasks on my S3 buckets that should be notified to the particular SNS topic okay so for this firstly I'll make my S3 bucket so for this I search S3 okay here is the S3 So first of all, I make my S3 bucket. So I have to make my S3 bucket which you publicly allowed access. So there is no bucket available right now. So I'm going to create it. So give that packet name. Uh, it should be globally unique. So I say demo iPhone one two three, and um, allow it publicly. So I uncheck from here. I mean to say I wanna publicly allow, and tick on the acknowledgement, and go rest of the default settings, and no need to enable backup versioning. So say create backup. Okay, now it's created. Now just copy the ARN of is this S3 bucket and keep it somewhere so that we can use it. So for this, I open my bucket, demo bucket, go to the properties, and here is the ARN of this bucket. So I just simply copy and paste somewhere. So I said S3 ARN. Okay, and this is the ARN of my S3 bucket. Good. Now we have to configure the SNS services. So for this, again I search SNS. That is simple notification service. I click on this service. Okay. So currently we don't have any SNS, SNS services configured. Let's create it. So gives the topic name. Name could be anything. I mention. Uh, demo SNS okay and display name 
I leave it blank and uh, go with the rest setting, default setting and uh, no, need, no need to right now configure the access policy so I just say create topic right so here I have a create my topic name demo SNS okay now the next part is to configure the subscriptions so click on the create subscription button so I just select create subscription and in the field of protocol we have a lots of availabilities like um, lambda email email json http and https but i am going with email act option right now and uh, topic of arn it's a by default arn that is demo sns and um, endpoint that is very very important in the field of endpoint i give my email id where i want notification from sns so just give your email id so i mentioned that my email id is u839 at the rate gmail.com right so scroll down and simply create okay so now see the status is pending look at that pending configure con confirmation because we need to subscribe email id we need to subscribe sms service by open my email id and i open my email account and amazon send me a one mail for the verification now if i go to the my email id look at that so here uh, here i can see that i have a mail from amazon and it's a kind of notification mail for subscription confirmation so i just confirm confirm subscription now it's uh, going to be confirmed yeah it's confirmed so i just close it and go back again and if i refresh this page okay look at that status is confirmed okay so uh, the part is completed now just copy the arn of uh, copy the arn of sns also so for this i go on the topic and uh, open my demo sns and just copy this arn also so i just copy and paste it somewhere say i said sns arn and look at that okay so just make it big that's it now our next task is so we have to make a policy for sns to work with the s3 bucket so for this i take the help of policy generator it is a basically generate your policy so uh, the type policy generator in google search bar and we can take the help from there so i said uh, policy generator go with this and uh, yeah go with the first option So it's a basically generate your policy, okay? It says that AWS policy generator is a tool that enables you to create policy that control access to the AWS products and resources, okay? So select the type of the policy, let it be loaded. loaded so type of the policy I go with SNS topic policy okay and uh, here principle I wanna allow for everyone so I say plus star okay and I'm um, AWS services is Amazon SNS services okay and uh, action action means what action you wanna perform so I go with the there's a lots of action I go with the which one I said uh, go with the publish okay so i just select publish so for that i need to uh, go with the public option otherwise you can go with there as your own needs okay then the part is arn that is very very important so here i paste the arn of my sns services so keep it mind it's very important so i just copy the arn of my sns services simply just copy and simple paste okay 
now i want to apply a particular bucket so that's why for i needed to add an action option so add conditional some condition so i click on this and in condition you can go with ar and equals or give, go with ar and like anyone so i said ar and like and key so key is in my case i can go with the aws source arn this one and value so in the value section i take the arn from s3 so just copy the arn of s3 bucket copy and paste and just add condition okay So in this value, we paste the error of my S3 bucket where we want to apply this policy. Okay. Now go to the add statement and generate the policy. So I said generate policy. Here is a policy. So now copy the entire policy and go to the SNS topic and replace the current access policy with this policy and save the changes. So what I did, I just copy entire this policy and go to the SNS. topic go with the edit and find out the acl that is access control list or uh, access policies and scroll down just remove and simple paste that's it so now copy the entire policy and scroll down save changes okay so that topic demo is in a save successfully okay now next task is now we have to go to the s3 bucket and make event for that so again go with the s3 so now here we have to make an event for that to create event go to the s3 bucket okay so open my s3 bucket go with the properties here we have an option event notification so i just scroll down search yeah here it is event notification so click on create event notification so just give a event name could be anything in my case i said uh, example and prefix and suffix is optional so no need to give that and event type that is very very important so in the event type i uh, you can select as per your need so i go with the all object created and delete events so i just select all object created events and all object delete events that's sufficient for me or you can go with your own settings and uh, destination that is very very important so destination here i have select sns topic and choose for your sns topic so in my case that is demo ss sns okay so just click save changes okay the event notification and configuration was updated even notification rule example was successfully added so all tasks done now time to check how to check so basically what will happen uh, it will send an email to my email id whenever i upload or delete some file to my s3 bucket so for testing purpose i upload some files let's see what happened so i go to my s3 bucket and try to upload some files and let's see what happen i open and go to the upload add a file so here i just say this image apple i select it and scroll down click on upload upload is successfully so i said close and let's check on my email id 
so I refresh look at that I got mail from SNS okay so I open it and look at that bucket name is demo123 and it shows my services and I scroll down a little bit uh, it's my file name apple.jpg and I got the mail via SNS services okay so similar way in a similar way if I remove the file or any object I got the mail again suppose I I wanna just remove it say delete say permanent delete and scroll down say delete object successfully deleted again just wait for a one two minute I refresh look at that I got again one mail from SNS S3 notification so this time I deleted object removed look at that okay so guys this is how AWS SNS service work okay so this is finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon I will come up with new another interesting new topics till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update guys one more thing if you are interested in Linux online classes for the Red Hat Linux and AWS and many more please contact us through given links which is mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye